Hello guys and welcome to another commentary that I'm going to be doing, uh, which I've decided to call Relcoms, I don't know what you think of the name, but uh, it is going to be Team Infected again who played really well in the last one that you all saw, but they are going to be playing uh, against the team with a few familiar names that you might know. Uh, Busby, Godlike and Dizzy were in a team at ECL that came 7th slash 8th, so really good players, and TCM Tommy D, who I believe came 5th, 6th, uh, and he's uh, substituted in for Fizz because this is a team that he's going to reflex to play. So these are two really good teams and this should be interesting. They're going to be playing Summit Capture the Flag. Uh, I'll let Infected choose the map and the game mode. Uh, so let's start it up. And don't worry guys, I'm going to get the sound volume all sorted for this one. And uh, what I just wanted to ask as well, do you want me to try casting a, a few different game types? Because obviously Capture the Flag is the best. There's two rounds and I can just switch over. Uh, Demolition might be a bit better. Would you like to see some Search and Destroy? I don't know. Just let me let me know in the comments. And we're going to jump straight on board with Spets now. I'm not sure what team this is going to be. Uh, one of the Sowerby brothers, uh, the, the second best gaming brothers uh, on Call of Duty, commented that I, I need to switch a bit more um, per, per side. So I'm going to do that, and uh, hopefully this one will be a little bit better with the sound balance and everything. But we're going to start off watching Imperial Busby anyway. Uh, you may notice that I have adjusted the safe area as well, so you can see the radar and the score at the bottom a little bit better. And he's going to be using the MP5, so he's the SMG of the map. Um, and he's been taken out by Infected Lou. So like I say, Infected did actually choose this map. I thought it would be fair to let the winner that has stayed on... Um, choose the map and it looks like they're getting an early pull here uh, so both teams playing very aggressively summit is actually a really small map and it should be quite uh, quite some fast-paced gameplay here that's what i'm hoping anyway tcm tommy d though he is uh, crouching prone he is waiting for the flag carrier now and he's up there on his own but i think he's going to manage to take him off here uh, pick, take him off, pick him off there, and that was some nice play, just laying low, and uh, almost a turn on on Flux, but Flux managing to get the headshot. Back to Busby now, see someone in front of him, I uh, don't really know what happened there, but he's going to sit back, he's not going to chase him too much, and unlucky there, doesn't manage to pick up the kill, just going to quickly bring up the scoreboard so you can see what is going on there. Uh, Tommy D pushing through the middle now, and uh, it looks like, I'm not sure what to call this team, and last time I called it Team Diamond, and obviously it's a bit frustrating because it wasn't the full Team Diamond, but just for, and Steven Rowe has joined the game, so I'm just going to quickly mute him, I'm not sure who he is, but uh, for the purposes of the commentary, I'm going to just call it M-Tech for Godlike. This isn't the M-Tech team, but it's just so that you guys know what team I'm talking about. But uh, no flags captured so far, but lots of gun action going on there. We've watched Busby for a while, so let's watch Godlike, who is the AR, and he's going to be pushing up from the uh, ice stairs, looking at the spawn, so he's in a really good spot there, good spawn trap, and like I say, this is an experienced land team versus uh, what you could call a, a, a new land team, they haven't been to land yet, infected, but they were a good MLG team on GB, you may remember G8, and it does look like this is actually quite close, uh, both teams were happy for me to commentate this, and it looked like that was actually three down from Infected, just bringing the scoreboard up, I believe it was, uh, three down of Infected. Uh, sorry, I'm like, got that bit mixed up, but Godlike there, managing to stop the flag carrier from capturing, and we're almost at the halfway mark, so I'm going to switch over to Team Infected. We're going to start off watching Lou now, and it's one of these interesting maps where it, th there's a lot of discussion over which side is the best side to pull it. I personally like pulling it what I call the metal side, some people call it the railing side, uh, and I know sometimes to, to confuse the other team, uh, even because it, because it I'd say it's the most popular side to pull it. There, there do happen to be some runs down ice side, uh, especially with marathon because you pick it up and everyone thinks you go in the railing side and you just rush yeah, it right down marathon. But infected on the attack again. Louis sitting back a little bit, so he's playing more of a defensive role. But interestingly, with an SMG, uh, ah, well he does actually have an AK as well, so that probably explains it. While he's defending, now I'm going to switch over to Jord, who is doing a lot of pushing. He's got his pipe out at the moment and picking off Godlike with a nice little jump shot. And you can see he's using Marathon again. We saw him using it really well on Havana in the last game. And he's going to go round. Uh, really good. That's three down from Infected. Only Godlike is alive. And Jord picking him up again. I don't know if that was a, a two-piece or three-piece, but all four were down then. But uh, some good spawns for what I am calling Team M-Tech. It's not technically M-Tech. I want to stress that because I did feel a bit tight labeling the other team Diamonds when it wasn't technically Diamonds. But uh, I don't know what you guys think who's on top at the moment here. I am just going to go to a bit of a listening. And I'm just going to keep quiet so you can hear what Infected are saying. We have the enemy flag. That's last guy, stop him, that's last one. Go, 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 go. Slash the spawns, watch snow, watch snow. I'm getting snow, I'm going there now. Just run it, you got it, you got it, got it. Watch snow, go on, boys, go on. Got it. 
Enemy flag yeah. captured. Snow, help me, snow, help me, snow for a sec. I've got, I've got dead, I've got dead. Top control, I'm reeling, top control, two reelings. Got reelings, I've got one reelings, there's still one and one still top. Tommy, Tommy's, Tommy's up top, Tommy's up top, Tommy's up top. One's bottom control, bottom control. Got him. Black, two dead. And you can see here them really getting into that game. They actually went one flag up there, but I didn't want to jump straight onto the comm. Uh, there's some really good uh, good communication within Infected there. And they are playing really well. You can see that they've had, I think they've had a few good up. opportunities to capture flags here. And they are playing against good players, like I say. Uh, Godlike actually was in the team that finished third we last the time. Uh, the team was called Nightmare. They finished third at Reflex. So, uh, you know, admittedly, Tommy D hasn't been playing with these. Flag. I don't know if he's been playing with these at all or not much. They he has recently been picked up and these are a team that are going to Reflex. And Jord on the defence there. jord has been playing really well. Uh, he's been playing very aggressively. And they're not going to capture this flag, so it's going to be 1-0 for Team Infected. Uh, for the first round and we're going to swap over now Good to the other team the and round. I'm not going to try doing it straight away because last time I tried doing that I kind of joked time. and doesn't swap over straight away but let's uh, watch to Dizzy I don't think we've actually watched Dizzy yet so um, let's see what he's up to and he's going to be pushing with the MP5. What's interesting that I always find about the MP5 is some people really uh, can only use a red dot and some people absolutely hate using it. I personally like the red dot, Momentum hates using the red dot and I, I don't know what you guys think if you think there's any benefit to using either. Obviously, the, the gun will vibrate as much as it vibrates, but I, I kind of think in my head, why would you not use a red dot? But everyone to their own, I guess. So now Dizzy is on the attack, but Lou managing to pick him up, uh, pick him off. Jord grenading his own team, bit of a mistake there. And Tommy going uh, crouching round. He doesn't want the uh, infected to be hearing him at all. He did see someone, so he's just going to throw the flash out. You can see them all pushing down the railing side if you quickly look on the minimap now. And it looks like they're going for a bit of a group push here. And Dizzy is going to be picking up the flag. Tommy D running back. So now it's important. They, they, they've all got to cover. They've all got to get to the spawns on the other side. Uh, Tommy's in the exact right place now. He's just waiting to see if anyone's going to be running down there. Uh, as Dizzy has passed a certain point, he now needs to go and back him up. And this does look, look like it's going to be a flag capture for the team that I'm calling M-Tech. But the flag was dropped and it was returned. I'm not sure who did that. But uh, if you look in the bottom right corner of the screen now, I'll uh, do a quick replay of that so you can see exactly what happened. Uh, 74U has been introduced. Now 74U is allowed in the Deserta rules. That's, uh, that was introduced quite a while ago. But, uh, you know, I don't know what, what you guys think is the, the best SMG at the moment. Because I, I think personally I'd still prefer to use the MP5 as the 74U has been weakened or nerfed as it were. Busby on the attack but Lou getting a nice double headshot. And they are playing a lot more defensively this round. Uh, they are one flag up so there's no need to play so aggressively. Something that I must say as well, even though I really would like to continue this uh, winner stays on series. Uh, Lou is actually going to be going on holiday. And uh, that means that... Sorry, my mum's just come in my room there and deposited some grapes. I'll be one second. So, uh, <laughs> Lou has, uh, is going to be going on holiday tomorrow, so I don't know if we'll be able to carry on uh, infected playing anymore, uh, or at least until he gets back. But they're playing really well here, and two minutes, 50, uh, two, sorry, two minutes 45 into the game, we're going to go to a bit of a listening, and then I will swap over back to infected. They have our flag. But, hey, man. We're push on snow. Push, yeah, we're push the right. Gone snow on top PC. Spawns rails, spawns rails, spawns rails. They got that flag. The bad one. And I'm just gonna switch over to the other team now. And we are going to go on board with Infected Rich, or Richie. Uh, I don't think we've seen much of him. Nice little two-piece there, and there's a third. Oh, it would have been a brilliant three-piece if he would have got him, but some great defending there. Lou is on the case, and Lou is doing the defense now. There's actually no one defending, but I think two people are pushing back. They know that there's only one minute 50 left on the clock, so they're just going heavy defense here. They're not they're not camping, they're not sitting in corners, but they're, they're making sure that uh, what I'm calling Team M-Tech can't get to the flag. I think that was a two-piece from Flux there, so well played from him. And it actually looks like Infected are going on a bit of an attack, actually. Uh, but uh, three down there is only Flux alive. <laughs> nice headshot. That was a really tough situation to be in. And he's just going to make sure he doesn't go down here, which he has. So this could be trouble for Infected. Can Mtech bring this back? Let's have a look. Uh, Infected picking up two kills there. 
some really great yeah, play really and they've great. obviously been practicing a lot it's going to be interesting seeing where they place at land if they do attend what i must stress again and i always have to say this uh there are uh, it, there is a bit of a risk in playing this because you know you can look a little bit bad if you you do bad in this one game and i did ask some teams to actually play against infected and they said they didn't want to play because they know it would be on youtube which is fine so thank you to these guys for agreeing to play on youtube but it is certainly not over yet there's still 53 seconds left and they are currently running that flag back so is Flux going to be able to hold this off? Because I think Flux is the only one that has the potential to stop this and he's going to be on his own here. He's got to be careful. And that looks like it is going to be a capture. And that brings the overall score to 2-1-2 two two infected. So they are still up by one flag with 30 seconds left. Lou is just going to play quite defensive here. Uh, and Dizzy actually taking him out. Let's switch over now to Rich holding mid-map. And I think there's about a 10 second run time across the map. So it is still possible if Dizzy can get it. Dizzy's down though. And Busby picking him off with the Python. Busby's going to make this run now. Flux managing to hold it off. Uh, this was actually a close game towards the end. There were some interesting pushes there. But Infected take it two blanks to one. So thank you to both teams as well for participating in this. And like I say, it is only one game. It's one scrim doesn't mean a whole uh, two piece from rich there i'll show that in the bottom right as well uh, it doesn't mean a whole lot but it's just a good thing for you guys to watch and i really like commentating so i hope you guys keep and subscribe or comment rate all that sort of stuff and stay tuned for more live commentaries your work is appreciated well done